have that live look from Brad Arnold's camera in Grosbeck, Texas. Signal's been going in and out. We do have some video that we want to show you right there. That was the vehicle submerged in some of those floodwaters. Storm tracker Brad Arnold has been patrolling the bullseye of this severe weather threat all throughout the day today, and he joins us now on the phone. Brad, what are you seeing out there? Clearly, we've seen some of these pictures of not just the severe weather threat we've been watching for hours, but a lot of rain, and it's led to some flash flooding. Yeah, so the, the flooding threat is, is really ramping up over here as these storms continue to train over each other. Um, that's what happened in this situation. We're sitting at uh, State Highway 164 right now, having some data issues. Data is kind of spotty in this, in this area of Texas, but um, they're actually towing that car now. Um, it, it, was, it was a lot deeper probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, the uh, the tow truck uh, operator walked out, walked out there and it was it was up to his waist. Um, so it and it before that it was probably about four to five feet high. So I can only imagine driving into that what that driver must have felt like. Yeah. So so what was the story there? Is that what happened? You mentioned flash flooding. How quickly it can happen? Those water levels, particularly under an overpass like that, a low lying area, the water just comes up very very quickly. Is, is that what it seems like it happened? Oftentimes someone, someone drives into that, not really with a, with a full understanding of how deep that water might be? Right, absolutely. And, and oftentimes what will happen is it will happen in a uh, very, very, very strong downpour of rain, so it makes it already hard enough to see while you're driving in the heavy, heavy precip, uh, much less trying to see where that flooded road is. It's, 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 it's pretty, pretty difficult, and, it, and at night it's even, it's even harder because everything kind of just looks black. Mm -hmm. on the road and then all of a sudden you're driving through three feet of water and then your car stuck so so what was today like so far you have been an awfully busy guy lately unfortunately with the amount of severe weather that we've had but particularly this week and last we have seen these very effective hail making thunderstorms that was the case once again today did you see some of that today oh yeah uh there were uh there were many cyclical supercells that would continue to produce very, very large hail. Thankfully, I haven't heard of any, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't heard of any tornado reports today. There were there were a couple of funnels that we saw. I know we, we counted probably about three or four different funnels. There was something that was limiting that so it wouldn't be able to get all the way to the ground to actually become a tornado. So, um, but yeah, it's been a very, uh, very interesting, very crazy couple of weeks. Um, hopefully we're gonna get a little bit of a break from this severe weather, but this is that, this is our point, this is the point in time of year where you know, it's pretty much every week where you have a big system coming through somewhere in the United States. Yeah, and this point of the season with, with cold air aloft, we had in Florida again today, baseball size hail. There in Texas, extreme up to softball, even grapefruit size. We had a, a couple of reports there in excess of four inches in diameter. What's the plan through the rest of the overnight hours? I know we've got this severe weather threat that finds its way farther off to the south and east, closer to the northern Gulf Coast heading into the day tomorrow. Does, does the pursuit continue, or are you calling it from here? So tonight, I, my main plan tonight is probably going to travel behind these storms to see if there are any flood reports. Um, and if there are, we'll, we'll obviously go cover those. Um, I think the tornado threat has really calmed down. It's still not, still not zero, so don't let your guard down, but um, I think it's, 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 it's come down exponentially. Um, tomorrow, we're going to get a little bit further east, um, get a hotel later on tonight, kind of look at models, how they're going to trend, if they're going to trend up tomorrow, if they're going to trend down, and then we'll make a decision um, at some point tomorrow morning if we're going to continue going towards the Gulf Coast or if I'm going to go ahead and go back home in North Alabama. Well, safe travels. We'll be looking to check back in with you. Storm tracker Brad Arnold, always good to talk with you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.